So they actually make a virus total command line interface and it's amazing. I can pull up the help menu for virus total by running VT help. Now let's say I want to get information about an IP address. I can do so by running VT followed by IP and then provide the IP address that I'm interested in. This is a known suspicious IP address. It is considered to be malicious and at the bottom we even get a who is report to go with it. Now let's say that you want to get information about a particular file. First I'm going to take a hash of that file. So I'll take an md5 sum hash of a file called file.txt. Then I'm going to run vt followed by file and I'm going to paste in that hash. And immediately I get back a bunch of information from VirusTotal and it tells me that this is the very very well known ICAR antivirus test file. You can even use the VirusTotal CLI to scan an Android APK. Once again, I'm going to first take an MD5 sum of the APK. I chose to call it app.apk to hide its real name. I'm going to copy the hash. We're going to run VT file followed by the hash. Once again, we get back a ton of different information and it has basically given us all of the important information about this app. Here is the name of the app. This is the very well-known Magisk app used to root Android phones. It even tells us how many shared libraries it has, how many dangerous permissions that it uses. Virus Total Command Line Interface is incredibly powerful. There's so much you can do with this tool. If you're interested in learning more about it, I did a full-length video on this. Go check out the video.